You'd probably assume a country like Australia would have strict rules for what chemicals are allowed to be sold here and to ensure that all chemicals measure up to health and environmental safety standards. Unfortunately, you'd be wrong. Meet Australia's pesticide regulator, the APVMA, whose job it is to ensure pesticides are safe. But it also happens to be 96% funded by the pesticide industry, and it's lagging behind the rest of the world. More than 80 of the pesticides registered for use in Australia are now prohibited in Europe, and 17 are known, likely, or probable causes of cancer. At least 48 are suspected of interfering with the hormone systems of humans and wildlife. One of these, atrazine, a weed killer used in agriculture, is a notorious water pollutant that gets into creeks and rivers and is even found in the Great Barrier Reef. The APVMA conducted a safety review of atrazine that lasted 13 years, but during that whole time, it did not officially consider risks to the Great Barrier Reef. Now, 13 years is a pretty long time, but there are actually eight chemicals that are still under review after even longer than that. One of these, an insecticide called Paraquat, is so toxic that just a couple of teaspoons can kill a person, and it's also been linked to Parkinson's disease in farmers. Not surprisingly, it's been banned in Europe, but it's still sitting on Australian shelves even though it's been under review since 1997. Chlorpyrifos might be in one of the bug killers under your kitchen sink or in your garden shed and is also used in growing fruit and vegetables. It has been under review since 1996, even though it's also been linked to the development of ADHD in children. We are the lucky country, but that doesn't mean dangerous pesticides should get a free ride down our rivers and creeks, over our food and through our bodies. To be a part of the solution and help ban dangerous pesticides, go to wwf.org.au.